We're Eamon and Beck, and last year we went from world travelers living in our van to first-time homeowners and amateur renovators. 2020 taught us to embrace change, and with that same spirit, we're tackling the year ahead. And I think it's time we show you what Santa brought us. Thanks, Santa! <laughs> But he's a little sick, and all of a sudden, look at this. It's the man flu. Let's go, boys. Woo! like I need a change. Oh, 70s rocker. Nah, I feel like I need more. Hey, back! I'm gonna cut more. You, you want to like, donate? Like the 70s porn star look? Yes. Oh, your luscious locks, my love. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's give her. Let's give her and let's really, let's try and donate it. How come whenever you cut your hair, you look so good? <laughs> what is that about? Holy shit, I'm shaking. Are you sure? I'm gonna worry about I love you with short hair and long hair. Right, I'm good looking either way, right? Super good looking. Are you ready? You're hesitating. You're ready. You're not You're mad at me, right? No. Wait. Are the scissors working well? Well, they're the best we've got. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna cry and I don't know why. Oh! How dank is it that that was just hanging off my, my wow. backside? Oh my god! <laughs> hey girl! <laughs> nice babe, bro! Yo, who does your fade, bro? Yo, bro, what kind of player does your fade, bro? Yo, bro, hey, it's babe, just what do you want to do? my girl in front of my mirror, bro. Guys, I hate this. That's better. We're back at it again. Hello everybody and welcome back! My gosh, it feels good to see you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I'm thinking 2021 might be the best year yet. Are you nuts? I guess we're no longer afraid of the ice. <laughs> Zamboni. <laughs> I reckon maybe not a lot of people know what that means. Behold. The Zamboni. It cuts the ice with a blade and scoops up the shavings into a tank. A water tank sprays a thin mist of water onto the ice, and a towel or chamois runs over the ice, smoothing it out. So, before we lace up, I saw our one and only friend, Matt. He's our friend across the lake. You wanna go say hi? Sure. Come on. <laughs> Wait for me, bud. I'm more of a shuffler. <laughs> so our neighbor Matt and wife Jackie, and they have two kids, they actually canoed over to meet us. How Canadian does that sound? Obviously, uh, at the end of the summer. Yeah, pre-ice on the lake. <laughs> and they bought the place the exact same day as us, so they're new to the lake. And I've been leaning into the relationship pretty hard. <laughs> I drive over, I've been over three times now. All right. So yeah. we're gonna extend our hand out one more time. <laughs> Guys, look. There's the cabin. I love you, cabin. Oh, by the way. What? I just wanted to tell them that the cabin's named Hylotoma. Oh. I don't think we've ever told them. Hylotoma was the name of the cabin from the previous owners because Hylotoma is a woodpecker. That's pretty rare, I think, but seen quite often at our cabin, so Hylotoma, everybody. Howdy, neighbors! Hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, our neighbors are lovely, but they're a little bit camera shy, so we're gonna go clear our own little area, and I'm gonna absolutely dangle back on the ice. Don't pretend you we've done any of the work for this. This was all Mother Nature, bud. We brought the shovels down to look legit, but... Yeah, this is bonus. <laughs> So, neighbor Liam messaged me yesterday saying he might come out and play hockey. And I just got a text from him now saying that he was out last night. And looked a little sketch. Eamon's so scared I'm gonna beat him. He had to give me a stick. That shoots the wrong way. Ha ha ha. For me, it's the whole stopping thing, you know what I mean? Gerald, number seven, Stanley Cup champion, 1972. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Woo! Oh, we got our other neighbors. I was like, who's that on the ice? <gasps> I think this is the most social day we've had in like a year and a half. No kidding. <laughs> New friends. Uh, okay, I'm starving. Oh my gosh, you must be so hungry. I know, I'm intermittent fasting. Let's go eat this. <laughs> You're not eating my seven layer dip, are you? <laughs> this is my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, May leftovers. Have the leftover curry. I haven't been intentionally fasting, but what I am finding I'm enjoying this year, because you know, new year, new you, new resolutions, is I'm only eating fruit until noon, which is uh, a nice way to... Just give the body a bit of a break? Yeah, I'm liking it a lot, like just fruit till noon. What do you think you're doing eating my I saw some guy doing it on TikTok, I thought that was cool. <laughs> I made this very mediocre curry the other day. Um, so we've had it for leftovers for like three days and every day we pull it out at lunchtime. We're like, okay, we'll have the curry today. Cheers to not eating the curry again. That seven layer dip is dino. Oh, yeah! Cookbook coming soon. Oh, yeah! Safe to say there was a favorite at lunch? Dinner? Curry? <laughs> <laughs> we have to make that for dinner. I'm gonna make buddy. it better. I'm gonna upgrade it. Okay. But yeah, it's going back in the fridge. Mm. Curry, <laughs> you will survive one more day. This guy was ordered and delivered two months ago. <laughs> and it's been one of those projects we've been avoiding and avoiding and avoiding. Avoiding and avoiding and avoiding. Abo abort, abort mission! Abort mission! <laughs> uh, it's a Wi Fi booster because the Wi-Fi or the cell signal sucks and the Wi-Fi basically sucks and we gotta make it better. Just to give you some context, to upload one of our videos, it takes about 16 hours, whereas in Toronto it would take five to 10 minutes. So it sucks. One megabyte per, and we just, we <laughs> You know what else sucks? You know what else sucks? Hooking this, up the Wi-Fi booster. Wi -Fi booster. <laughs> I think maybe what we figured out is the best signal is from this side. I'm just gonna, be careful though, I'm going to get my phone. Big, big booty. Are you safe? Sort of. So this is the outside antenna. I put that there temporarily. Okay. Put this in. How far away, like in the kitchen? How many bars you got? Uh, I currently have one bar. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. Okay, it's plugged in. How many bars do you have now? Uh, I still only have one. Yeah, this is cooked. And this is when 
<laughs> the frustration begins and we postpone install for another four days. Um, this is where we tested the best service we got in the entire cabin. So maybe it's just that the direction of the outside antenna needs to be adjusted. Perfect to hit the cell tower, which is over that way. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to ch like change the different angles. You go downstairs and tell me if it's better. Okay, how back? How's that? Two bars. Okay, how's that? Two bars. Okay, how's, how's that? Two bars. How's that? Also, is January 9th too late to still have a Christmas tree up? I personally don't think so. Like, it kind of just brings cheer all year. Take your time, Beck. It's the cheer all year tree. Uh, and if we weren't in construction, I'd probably try to convince Eamon to let me keep it all winter, but it's probably coming down. Beck? We would not Go recommend whatever it is that we bought. Our neighbor said it worked though, Eamon. I don't understand. Well, maybe he's more patient than me. Well, he's definitely more patient than you. To make matters so much better, we've broken this window. Okay, that's close for now. <laughs> that's close enough? That's close forever. All right, we were just about to pack it up and return this and buy another booster. Patience, my friends. We, I, might have put the cables in going the wrong way uh, from the top and bottom. Well, my trusty wife has more patience than I do. Baby, five bars. Yeah. Five bars. Five. Freaking five. So close. Well, it's not the prettiest thing to have on your roof. Five bars of service, we'll take it. <laughs> this is easily my favorite time of day. The sun begins to set. There's the most beautiful glow on the other side of the lake. And I think it's time we show you what Santa brought us. Thanks, Santa! <laughs> yeah. Clothing optional. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Barracuda. Turn on the jacuzzi. Alexa, turn off the camera. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Santa hooked it up big time this year for us. But of course, the prep work to get that hot tub in didn't go according to plan. We got the gator stuck, we got the plow stuck, and then we had to level the ground, but oh, we made it in it. there for New Year's. It was so nice, and we've been using it basically every single day. But truthfully, the biggest gift we got this holiday season was help from our buddy Eric, who's an electrician. We got lights in the house. Raise the roof. <laughs> Let's show you around the electrical. Previously, our bedroom had no lighting. So now we have four beautiful pot lights and we've got wiring for two sconces, one on either side of the bed. It makes such a huge difference. Lighting is everything. Hello lights. And oh, in the kitchen, of course. Um, you guys saw we just had to string lights up and that was literally our lighting. So now we have four beautiful pot lights in the kitchen space too. And not to worry, we are keeping this gorgeous over counter lighting. Oh, please tell me you're not so the next couple of months are really gonna be focused inside the cabin which is gonna be wild because of course we're living in the cabin but first things first we have this leftover tongue and groove pine from the owners and we're trying to hopefully use that for the two bedrooms ceilings thanks John thanks John unfortunately it's not quite ready to go it's got like old stain on it so Feels good to get the old pencil behind the ear again. The plan is these boards are 15 feet. So we're gonna cut them 107 inches, which is the size we need for the master bedroom, and then collect them and we need 27 pieces. 
right? Let's get going. 26? 27. 27.6. 26.7. 26.7. Let's roll. <laughs> Outside cold freezing job. Because your skill set doesn't align. Any place, any time, we're always there. We don't shine. The days are disappearing. Or today is disappearing. We're almost done. We had the perfect amount of boards. Hey! Hi! How you doing? I think I have like five boards left. Mucho oh. <laughs> frío? Okay, five more boards. I'm gonna start hanging them. Really? You don't need my help? Well, you want me to wait for you? Or? No, no, no. Start hanging them. Okay, but. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca Maroney. Put <laughs> your hands together. Eamon just said to me not to be too concerned. Not to be alarmed. I did notice a few on my legs today. I woke up and I was like, what are all these dots? And then I just looked at my arm, I was scratching my arm. Can you see that? <gasps> I know. Oh my gosh, Eamon! I know. You just want to show your abs that you've been working on? <laughs> <laughs> I feel great though. Okay, <laughs> so just keep going? Just keep an eye on me. All right. Red, pimple-like dots. Yeah, Red, some of them are kind of like pimply. Itchy. And they're Pencil. a little raised. No. What, you're just putting on the Google, man? That'll freak us out. <laughs> Should I not be? So maybe search like after hot tub. Okay. That's the only thing I could think of. Okay. I've been spending a lot of time in a hot tub. Primary symptom of hot tub folliculitis is a bumpy red rash that's often itchy. It's not the a rash. bumps may be filled with pus and can resemble acne. This rash may develop anywhere from a few hours to several days after exposure. Without any treatment, within five to ten days, it'll resolve itself. Guys, don't worry about False it. False alarm! Eamon's just got hot tub folicitis. Oh. That is so. Yeah, peel it off. Peel it off. Oh, folicitis. <laughs> Go your own oh way. way. Three pot lights, one to go. But he's losing his mind though. We got ADD aiming. We can do a little swing in the corner here. Good job. Good job. Nice job, buddy. All right, let's finish this. Classic bag. Oh, goodness luck. It's very rustic. Rustic is the right word. Good job, baby. Coffee. The <laughs> coffee girl is here. She's spreading lots of cheer. Ooh, <laughs> and she's in her socks. Man, I love her lots. Yeah, you caught me in the middle of my uh, my old uke lesson. Uh, big goal of mine for 2021 is to headline stages alongside Justin and Sean and, you know, the top <laughs> artists. I get a lot of laughs out of you, Beck, but we'll see. It's going to happen. I believe in you, boo. And Skillshare is going to be the one that gets me there. So a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, it is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for curious and creative cats like myself. But it doesn't just have you classes. It has... What are you doing today? You're doing something with plants? 
not just plants. These are green queens, and I'm learning all about them <laughs> from the plant queen herself, Christopher Griffin, in her course, Plants at Home. Basically, I've been collecting since we moved here, but mm -hmm. I've been doing it all wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning. This is probably my favorite course I've taken on Skillshare, though I have taken courses on productivity, entrepreneurship, and that's just the beginning. So if you guys are interested in trying something new in 2021 or enhancing your skill set, you can check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 of you who click the link in our description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And before we hop into construction clothing and construction mode, I thought I'd make us a quick lunch. Guess what lived to see another day, folks? Mm-hmm, you guessed it. The curry! <laughs> but today's the day we make this something delicious. Are you ready for the new improved curry? Nothing I'd rather have. <laughs> well, it definitely looks better. Yeah. That's good. Mm. Thanks, baby. Come on, man. Bud, we almost forgot. It's recycling. Ah, is it Tuesday? I'll be back. I'm going to go bring it out. Okay, thanks. Still not entirely sure what time they actually come to collect recycling and garbage. Sometimes it's 9, sometimes it's 11. It's now 12, so. What are the chances we made it in time? I was literally just saying that to them. Were you? I mean, it's 12.30 in the afternoon, so. Hopefully it's 1. How is your hot tub disease? My hot tub full of chitis? Yeah. It's taking you down a pack, I'm huh? feeling like it's taking me down a little bit of my energy levels. That whole gator scene, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and your rash is like, it's pretty bad. I didn't realize how important it was to get those color testing strips like perfect. Like, never had a hot tub before, so. You live and you learn, and this was a terrible way to learn, but we've learned. I thought you said you were going to be in charge of the chemicals. No, I don't think so. Don't think that was me. Also, if you have a man in your life and he gets a little sick and is just, let me know. Because I, I think this is a man thing. Oh my God. But he's a little sick and all of a sudden, look at this. It's the man flu. Didn't you say last night you thought you were dying? I was dying yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Anybody else have a man like this? <laughs> I'll fight through it. Let's go. Okay, so basically we're putting a plastic barrier here. Now it's a little disappointing that the vapor barrier from the ceiling doesn't overlap like the other side, but I'll just do my best to shove the tape to connect because I can feel it from here. I know we say this a lot, but this was one of those things that was definitely hanging over our head since we moved in. So it feels amazing to check this one off the list. Okay, moving on to this side. It's gonna be a little more challenging. And it's dusty. And I'm gonna have to replace the insulation. So, yeah, it's gonna be a little more work. Gotta go down to the shop and get the right tools.
little holes that are made for the cables going outside. We're just gonna hit them with a little shot of mono insulating foam sealant. And now that we're insulated, we've just gotta do the vapor barrier. I could've sworn that works. Yeah. Good job, mate. This feels so good, man. She may not be delivery, but ooh, she's pizza. Mm, mm. What are you doing butchering it? Why are you sawing it like, like it's some kind of log? Well, how are you supposed to do it? Just like. <laughs> like that? <laughs> well, yeah, that works. No, it didn't. I'll, See, well, you I have know, to saw it. I was thinking it. like this, like. Oh well, what can't Eamon do? Very Cheers little. To that. Mm. There are a few things in life I enjoy more than a hot shower followed by a clean bed, and with Eamon's little. Rashy rash, I thought it was a good idea to wash our bed. What are you saying? I don't know if you're contagious, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, dude? How was your sleep last night? I had a wicked time. You did? No, I had a we brutal time. We didn't sleep time. together because I thought maybe you were contagious. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Was it like 7 o'clock? 6.30, 7 o'clock, bedtime. Well, it's great to see you guys again, getting back into the swing of things. We'll see you Sunday for another episode. So glad I didn't come here. Yeah, that would have been so weird, David. I think you look hot. Thanks, baby. Oh, you do look hot! Woo! Uh, uh, all right, see you guys. <laughs>